For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, now let's do this problem which says determine the moment of the force F, which is given in Cartesian vector form, about the AB axis and express the result as a Cartesian vector. So, I want you to find the moment about this axis that this force creates. So you know that the force is equal to 50 in the i minus 40 in the j plus 20 in the k. And we need to find the points involved. A is involved, B is involved, and C is involved because it's where the force sits. So A is at 4 in the i plus 0 in the j plus 0 in the k. B is at 0 in the i plus 3 in the j plus 0 in the k. And C sits at 4 in the i plus 0 in the j plus 2 in the k. So the moment about the axis AB that F creates is given by a univector in the A and B direction. Remember, this is not the X, Y, or Z. Therefore, you don't start your vector from the origin. This is the A and B. So what you got to do is you got to find the shortest distance between the axis and where the force acts. The shortest distance is right here, right at A, you can tell. Anything else will be longer. So you draw from the shortest distance your little vector, and this will be vector AC. So this is what goes in your formula. It's univector AB, a tiny vector with a magnitude of 1 pointing in the direction of the axis that you're trying to find the moment on, times the vector that is formed by the shortest distance between where the force is applied and the line of action cross the force. So this is given by this is given by the matrix UAB. So now we need to find a univector in the a and b direction that is given by the vector a v divided by its own magnitude vector a b can be found by doing vector v minus vector a and it comes out to be minus 4 in the i plus 3 in the j plus 0 in the k then you need to find the magnitude of this vector which is found by doing the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. When you plug in these three values into this formula, you get that this is equal to 5. So the univector is found by dividing these three values by this magnitude 5. So when you do, you get that the univector AB is equal to negative 0 0.8 in the i plus 0 0.6 in the j plus 0 in the k. Now that you have the univector, we can put it in our matrix. 0 0.8, that's an 8. I swear, it's an 8. 0 0.6 and 0. And the second row goes the vector that goes from A to C. Vector AC is given by vector C minus vector A. Vector AC is very easy. It comes out to be 0, 0, 0 in the I plus 0 in the J plus 2 in the K. 0, 0, 2. Lots of zeros. That's a good thing. And the force is given by 50, negative 40, positive 20. You rewrite your first and second column. More zeros, yay. You do your positive diagonals. Positive, positive, positive. First one has a zero, so zero. Point six times 2 times 50, I believe that is 60, yes, 60, positive 60, zeros on this one, negative diagonals, zeros on the first one, zero, minus, minus 40 times 2 times negative 0.8 is negative 64, 
minus 20 times 0 oh, is a 0 so this is 0 60 minus 64 is negative 4 therefore the answer is has a magnitude of 4 foot pounds remember this is magnitude so it's always positive foot pounds because distances are given in feet force is given in pounds so it's foot pounds for the moment created about AB final answer Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.